Predestined, Predestined Kingdom Ministries International videos. I am Kenithia J, okay? Or Kenithia Johnson. I am blessed. I'm sorry. Praise the Lord. So, guys, this video, praise praise the Lord. The Heavenly Father, I pray and say what you want me to say and release and, and get off this video. My flesh decrease and your Holy Spirit increase. Are you okay? I pray, Lord God, the right people receive and see this word in Jesus' name. Amen. You guys. Oh, yeah, this is a serious video. In this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, spirit of joy. Praise the Lord. Spirit of joy. All right. In this video, we're going to be talking about false prophets, okay? False prophets. Matthews, that's two. Matthew 7, verse 15 through 20. And I'm seeing Matthew 24, verse 11, 27. I'm going to do the most popular one. Matthew 7, verse 15. You will know them by their fruits. I love, this is why I love the King James Version because. It's telling you what you're reading about, okay? That's why I love it. So, like, I could go to a, a King James Bible and read something, and if I don't understand it, I could go to my Bible, the New King James Version Bible, see the title, and then the Holy Spirit will put two and two together for me. So, it's really helpful um, having the titles to the scriptures. You will know them by their fruits. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. I hope I said that right. Ravenous wolves. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit a good tree cannot bear bad fruit nor can a bad tree bear good fruit every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire therefore by their fruits you will know them guys so that's part two to seeing the number six 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 that i didn't mention in my video but beware of false prophets okay and you're gonna know them by their fruits so the fruits of the spirit is in the book of galatians okay you have love joy peace and then long suffering thank you holy spirit patience Okay, and I was just talking to the Lord about this um, today, and I said, well, Father, the only, the only way you're going to know is through the Holy Spirit at the end of the day, because these false, false prophets are getting smarter, and so they're using the Word of God. That's why, that's why we getting tricked, some of us, because these false prophets is using the word of God, but God didn't call them to prophesy. And so that's where false prophecy, prof, false prophets come in at because here's the thing. Yes, we all are equal. Yes, we all have a part to do in the body of Jesus Christ, but everybody don't have the same job to do. We are different body parts working for one body. So your job is not to be a prophet and God called them to be a prophet, but it doesn't mean you're not equally as important as the prophet because now we're one body down here. It's different levels to it. And if you just call yourself a prophet because you're going to a prophet's church, you misleading people because you got to get trained for one. God has to train up his prophets. He don't just send us out there. Like we really go through a lot of stuff, okay, to endure hardship for the Lord. And for you to not go through nothing and, and tell my son you a prophet and you using the word of God because 
You don't want your eh, shata. You don't want your daughter to be a eh, shata basata because you don't want your daughter or your son to be a prophet because you're jealous that God chose them and called them. So you're gonna force yourself to be a prophet so that way you could feel like you have more eh, shata, more authority over them. I feel like I'm talking to somebody. Thus says the Lord God, Jesus Christ, you are not a prophet. If God didn't call you himself and choose you, bring you a, bring, um, take you through the right, uh, proper protocol, the correct system and raising up his prophets. You can't just call yourself a prophet because of the grace that you see on, on the person's life that's around you. You're a false prophet and you're going to be judged like a false prophet because nobody told you you was a prophet. You just wanted to be one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You will know them by their fruits. I put out a video, everything. I just see it. I see it, Lord. I see it. I put out a video and I said, God said, stop being fake. Stop being phony. Be yourself. Be who he called you to be. And it's because of that reason right there. I know this is the season that God is revealing his sons and daughters and his prophets. But if you're, if you're not called as one, you're just not called as one. You can't tell yourself mentally you're something that God, that's a mental health issue. That's a narcissistic mental health issue. Okay? You don't have the fruits. You're not doing none of the labor. Okay? You didn't go through anything that God called you to go through because you're not supposed to be a prophet. God could use you and, and, and tell you to say something to somebody, but that don't make you a prophet. The Holy Spirit speaks. God's universe speaks. And that's what he means when we all have a job. That don't mean, yeah, no. If the Holy Spirit tell you to tell somebody something, you say what the Holy Spirit is telling you to say. But that don't make you a prophet. Okay? God has to specifically tell you. Let me tell you something. I didn't even want to be one. God chose me. That's normally how it is. You don't want to do it at first you don't when you when you start seeing that it's god calling you then you want to do it because you want to please him but a lot of us didn't ask to be chosen or called for this walk like it was predestined before we were born god said this is what he or she is going to do and so You know, for the Lord to use you a time or two and then you call yourself a prophet. Ma'am, sir, that's just not of God, okay? It's just, just not of the Lord. And you're going to be going through stuff and you don't know why because you don't have the knowledge or, or revelation that you need to keep going because you're trying to do a different calling other than the assignment or kingdom assignment, other than the kingdom assignment that God destined or predestined for your life. So I know, and I feel like I know who God talking to, but I don't know. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I pray y'all have a blessed day. Okay. Do not be a false prophet. Don't make yourself a prophet. Nobody, you didn't, nobody told you you was a prophet. Don't be a false prophet. Let the Lord use you through the Holy Spirit, you that's that's why you need spiritual discernment. Cause the devil will have you over here doing something way out of the way than what you are supposed to be doing. So you really gotta pray and ask the Lord. And then if you don't know what to do, don't do anything. If you don't understand who is speaking to you spiritually, don't move. If the Lord wants you to do something. He's going to come with a sense of urgency two, three, four, five times, making sure you do what he tells you to do. It's going to be a confirmation there. You're going to see signs like you're going to know that uh, you're, you're going to see the Lord. It's, it's going to be, thank you, Holy Spirit. It's going to be undeniably him. 
That's how you're going to know it's him. It's, it's going to be undeniably him. But don't make yourself a prophet. Everybody is not supposed to be a prophet. Some of us are just supposed to be teachers, doctors, or working a nine to five. Like some are called to do that and, and, and to minister to people. You could be, you could minister. There are other things, there are other gifts that you are supposed to be using. But for you to come up and say, I'm a prophet, I'm going to use this Bible scripture. Who talk, who? I keep hearing that. That's death. I didn't want to say it, but that's the third time. That's death. You're going to kill yourself because now you're going against demons and evil diabolical spirits that you don't have authority over. And so when you come against them and God didn't give you permission or seniority over these devils, what you think they're going to do? They're going to laugh at you and start attacking you along with the person that you think you're able to to set free and heal and God didn't call you to do that. So I thank you, Lord. I, and I saw that watching Dr. Lovey service one time. He told the lady, he said, the reason why you've been being attacked is because ever since you prayed or did something for this other person, you didn't have authority over them devils and they started attacking you once you prayed for them. So you got to be careful. And that's why you got to be Holy Spirit led. Because if God don't ordain us to do something, we get attacked for it. He allows the attack to happen so that way we could know next time, okay, I got to be obedient. God ain't tell me to do that. I shouldn't have been over there. Okay, so don't be a false prophet. And if you, yes, like Sister Joyce said, right? Sister Joyce is, is one of our sisters in Christ. She put out a video that said, watch out for false prophets yesterday. What I was going with that. I just lost it doing that. Use the Holy Spirit to discern who is speaking to you. Because even the devil like to use a little bit of scripture. And that's why us who are called as prophets, we have to use the exact words that are in the Bible. If you are not using the exact words that are in the Holy Bible, that's why God is getting mad. Because it's kind of hard for his children to know it's his voice if we're not doing our job. So we have to make sure we are saying the exact scripture as prophets. And just please beware of false prophets. Shalom.